you should start your gift knitting this month. Okay, today I am talking about something a little controversial. I'm talking about gift knitting. I don't want you to lose the joy of giving something to someone that you created and you know that they will treasure for a long time. First of all, you don't have to gift knit. Knitting for yourself is not selfish. Um, it is your form of either self-care or your hobby. Lots of people have other ways that they, you know, spend their time and money and energy. Um, marathon running, car restoration, um, you know, lots of other incredible things that um, take up time, energy, money, and they aren't really things you, you really share with other people. So taking time to make something for yourself is, is not selfish. That is your thing that you do. So please don't, don't, don't hear that from me. That is awesome. Make all the things for yourself. On the off chance you want to make something for someone else, um, I have some ideas for you. <laughs> you might be thinking, Hannah, it is July. I don't want to think about this. I want to wait um, until it gets a little closer and that is fine. Um, you know, I I was thinking the other day how, um, well, personally I love Christmas. I like winter. I like all of the holidays. Um, you know, in that time frame, I just, I really like that season. Um, so and sometimes it feels stressful to spend all of like November and December and sometimes January um, knitting things for other people and watching all these beautiful new designs drop and wanting to make them. And so the thought of spending all those months just gift knitting furiously, trying to hit the deadline, um, it can leave you feeling like stressed and just not in the mood for, you know, a holiday celebration. So I'm here to say you should start your gift knitting this month. If you gift knit for Christmas or anything like that, today's the day to start because you have six months until Christmas and that means you could just do like one a month, one every two months and that does not sound stressful at all, especially if you pick the right project. Not every gift knit has to be a sweater or a pair of socks. Um, I have gift knit both of those items and I enjoyed it and it was wonderful to see um, the recipients like enjoy them and um, feel so feel so loved that I was able to make those for them. But you don't have to do that every time. Someone might feel just as loved if you make them a hat um, or any of these other things I'm going to share. So that's all I'm saying. You can start today, you have six months, and hopefully that will make it a little bit less stressful and you actually feel like, you know, giving the gift, enjoying that versus staying up all night to finish um, a project that you start to think maybe you shouldn't have done it anyway. I'm going to share, um, I think I said, what did I say? 14 different projects that are great gift knits. Most of them I've made before. So I'll tell you if it's for kids or adults and if I've made it or not. Um, and if I've gifted it or not, I guess. Um, I've also put them together like in a Ravelry bundle. So you can just click on that and all the patterns will be saved there. So I'm going to go through them a little quickly. Um, and I'll try and put pictures up of the ones I've made. So also, fun fact, I think it's 10, maybe 10 of these, you don't even have to bother the recipient by asking their size. But most of these, um, you don't even have to ask, which is awesome. And it keeps it a surprise, which I, I love that. I honestly started to get really excited making this list. I feel like the possibilities are endless. You could make so many different things for people that don't have to be stressful. They can be small projects. They can still be made with so much love. They don't have to break the bank and you don't have to sacrifice like all of your self-care time or your alone time or whatever um, to, to make all these gift knits because you can make something, you know, that you want for someone you love and it can just be like a good thing. Um, it doesn't have to be stressful. So anyway, I'm gonna share them with you. Like I said, I'll let you know if I made them because I want you know, to recommend things that I, I really like. So anyway, the first thing is The Pearl Pouch by Tori Yu. I'll put a picture up. Um, I just recently gifted this to my mom for her birthday and my mom really liked it and I loved making it. I so enjoyed it. So anyway, 
The Pearl Pouch by Toriyu. It comes in three different sizes. It's great for using up yarn you already have. If you'd like to do that, you can use, I think, any worsted weight or fingering weight held double. So I really enjoyed making this pattern. Um, another bag is the Pearl Soho Dumpling Bag. I did participate in this knit along. They very kindly sent me the yarn, but I loved making this as well. Now I made one for myself, but I also have an extra skein of yarn that they gave me to make for a friend. And so I'm definitely planning to make that for a friend. Um, it was just fun to make something so practical that I could just carry around. And again, like I said, you don't have to ask someone their size. You can just um, make the bag and then gift it to them. Okay, the second kind of category is tiny scarves. Tiny scarves are so in. I also love tiny scarves. Um, so they are a great gift because again, don't have to ask the size and you don't have to spend like a whole month making them and they kind of are an accessory so you can wear them often um, and that seems like a good good kind of gift to me so um, my favorite things has scarf number one which i have made a ton of and gifted quite a few and then also um petite knit has sophie shawl she also has a sophie scarf but i'm actually making a sophie shawl right now um, to give to a friend but if you want like a designer that makes size inclusive garments since these are accessories the size is not really again a thing but if you want to support a designer that has those things um diana's bandana by ozetta i've made that it was a wonderful knit it uses double knitting so you can practice your techniques while also making a gift for someone i really enjoyed making that and then um la bianami uh amy from la bianami she just came out with a la bandana pattern and it has lots of customizable options so you can add some personality for your um, lovely recipient. So tiny scarves, always, always a good idea to gift. Um, another one that is fun and um, practical is a hot water bottle cover. I have been hearing about hot water bottles for a long time. I recently got one, that's not true. I got one like two years ago. I recently tried it out and it was amazing. I I have been wondering where it's been my whole life. So um, I need to make a cover for mine. <laughs> but you, if you have a friend that's like perpetually cold or like your mom or like an elderly family member that might be cold a lot um, or me who's cold all the time, <laughs> Um, you could make them a hot water bottle cover. So um, I have linked some patterns. Some of these are paid, some are free. I haven't actually made one, but I've been seeing them a lot recently um, as just a way to use up yarn in your stash. Most of them are like a heavier weight. Um, so yeah, if you have a couple of you know extra things lying around, you could even do stripes or I don't know. I saw one that's like a honeycomb and that's the one I want to make, but I haven't done honeycomb you know, cabling before, again, perfect way to practice. Um, yeah, so some new skills on a small, a small setting. So the next two, you might have to ask the size. If you can't, that's okay. Um, I'm sure that it will be fine. I'm sure they will fit. I'm hoping for you that they will. <laughs> but um, the first one is kind of like a matching set. So a hat for an adult and a hat for a child. So I have a um, pattern that has all the sizes. Um, it's called the Park Day Beanie. My husband and my son both have one and they're very, <laughs> um, very cute when they wear them together. They both love wearing them. Sometimes my son, this fall and winter, he would accidentally put on his dad's and it would come down like over his eyes and it was very cute. Anyway, um, that's a fun thing. If you are knitting for like some young little people in your life, make them all matching hats. My pattern is like a worsted or like it's a heavy worsted weight pattern, so not a ton of yardage and um, probably go pretty quickly, but I know Pearl Soho has some great free hat patterns that come from baby to adult sizes um, that you could definitely make and um, like make for matching. I don't know why I just really like the matching idea. <laughs> I need to make something to match my son. Maybe I'll make myself one of these hats and all three of us can have them, but anyway. I'm just holding my knitting needle from the <laughs> Sophie Shaw I'm making. Um, okay, the next one, the last idea for um, an adult pattern would be DK weight socks. So a lot of times the automatic thing when someone 
you know, wants to make a gift knit is socks. I have gifted socks. I've gifted quite a few pairs of socks. They do take a long time. Um, as you know, if you're a knitter, they did take a while and like that was fine. But if you don't have that time, you know, it can be easier to make like a DK weight pair. And I've never made either of these patterns, but I have knit patterns from these designers. So the um, Spruce Cable Socks by Natasha, um, I tested it for her. Her designs are lovely. She's also just a lovely person. So I definitely recommend her patterns. And then I've seen a lot of the Thick Skipping Socks by Summerly Knits. I think Woolberry Fiber Co. she recommends them or she uses them for gifts. Um, I've just seen them going around, usually around when <laughs> it's like the end of December and people are trying to finish all of their gift knits. Um, people recommend that pattern. So I haven't made either of these, but I have made socks by these designers. So if you want to make socks, save yourself some time, maybe do DK weight. Um, if you want to do, you know, fingering weight, that's wonderful. Again, I've done that. It's, it's special to think about. But DK weight socks can be just as special and take half the time. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm gonna share some kids patterns that I think would be wonderful for gift knitting that you can start today. Um, the first one is Nilla the Unicorn. I have made Nilla the Unicorn. I sent it to um, my cousin when she had a baby. Maybe it was last year. Um, I believe her older sister kind of took over uh, custody of Nilla the Unicorn, and that is totally fine. I should probably make another for maybe like her first birthday or something. <laughs> but it was a wonderful knit, and like I said, it's a great way to practice techniques. I loved making it. Um, another, like Barrett Woolco, they, um, Susan B. Anderson, she makes some wonderful patterns. I've made the little dino for my son. He loves his little dinos. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about him playing with them. It's very cute. So those are wonderful gifts that you can send to a loved one or send to a little person. You don't have to worry, does it fit? Will they outgrow it? How long can they wear it? They can always have, you know, a little stuffy with them. I know Barrett Wilco, hers are pretty much always seamless. So you pick up stitches versus like seaming them all together at the end. I seemed to know the unicorn. It would not have been difficult to just pick up the stitches and make it like that. Um, so I think these are great gifts. I should probably make some more <laughs> um, for my son. I'm trying to think what he might like this year. But yeah, Barrett Wilco has pretty much every animal. And those are just so fun to make. Um, okay, another thing that you don't have to figure out the size for your child is another pattern of mine. It's called Micah's Satchel. So any kind of bag for a small child, you can make them a pearl pouch. You could make them a... Um, dumpling bag but this one I have like size there's three different sizes and it's a little satchel pattern like crossbody satchel that um, is wonderful for collecting acorns or rocks or I don't know anything that kids might collect which really could be anything <laughs> um, so it's perfect for just putting those little things in and holding on to so that would be a wonderful gift for your little person it also uses a lot of i-cord and that's pretty much it not too difficult to make um wonderful for practicing techniques for um not worrying about if it will fit those kinds of things also side note i know my southern hemisphere friends do not experience a cold holiday season or many of them may not experience a cold holiday season so I wanted to include patterns that aren't necessarily weather dependent. <laughs> so a lot of these bags, tiny scarves, um, stuffed animals, those aren't weather dependent. So wherever you live or wherever your loved one lives, these can be good gifts to send them. Um, the last one is sort of size dependent, but it's forgiving. Um, it's Clara's Playtime Mittens by Amy of Amy Sure Makes, and it is a children's mitten pattern. I have bought this pattern. I have not made it because when it came out, it was already kind of warm here. And so I didn't think my son would want to wear the mittens, <laughs> but I'm planning to make him a pair for the fall um, when you know it gets cool again here. So I'm excited to make these. I think they'd be a lovely gift. And um, what, like what better way to, to love on a little person than making something they 
you know, can wear on their hands every day and either think of you or you can think of them, you know, running to the bus stop with their little mittens on their hands that you made them. I don't know, that gets me, that's, that's really sweet. So <laughs> anyway, these are my, I think I said, yeah, 14 patterns that you can start today to make for your Christmas gift knitting. Um, yes, they're in a Ravelry bundle. So my advice is start today. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching this. If you do start gift knitting early in the season, let me know when you start and let me know if you have a favorite pattern that um, you like to gift knit. I know there's so many. I did not cover even half of the incredible giftable um, projects out there. I just wanted to give a few for kids and adults that you could easily cast on um, and get started on today. So happy knitting. I will see you next week.